my presentation at this time is the human personality and two forms of knowledge. What I have understood from Quran and what I believe is that human beings have a composite existence. There are two beings joined together in a mysterious way. One being is the animal being, which has come out of clay, the crust of the earth. According to the scriptures, Bible, Quran, both, and according to the scientists, biologists. But the other personality, it has come from above, and that is the spiritual existence. Animal existence and spiritual existence. And both of them are absolutely independent of each other. Both of them are full personalities. What we call Ruh, and I don't know what should be the proper translation in English, soul or spirit, but I prefer spirit, not soul. Soul includes the life. Our animal existence includes life. It has come from the clay, the crust of the earth, through a very long, very long, very long process of evolution. But the spirits, human spirits, are not from earth or clay or sand. Thus thou art to dust returnest was not spoken of the soul. It has come from above. Let me say here, according to the Quran, there are two spheres of existence in this universe. Independent of each other, but intertwined with each other. Quran calls them the world of command and the world of matter, world of creation. Allah lahu al wal amr. Amr means command. And khalq is the creation. This amr, in that sphere of amr, things happen immediately, instantly, with the command of God. And the command is kun, be. And it is, it becomes. There is no time element included in it. This is the world of command. And the other world is actually, the word creation should be applied to this second. In Arabic we have a word ibdar, and that means creation ex nihilo, creating something without anything. So that is the word of command. Kun fayakun. Allah says be, and it is, and it becomes. But the other world is the world of creation. Here something is created out of something, not ex nihilo. Man created from clay. The jinns or jinnis created from fire. The angels created from light. So there was something existing before, and from that something has been created. And in this world of creation, Time factor is always involved. That is why the scriptures, and here again I mean Bible as well as Quran, they agree that this universe was created in six days. And we don't know the duration of the days of God. Surely they are not the days with which we are accustomed. The days in Quran we find 1000 years of hours 
becomes one day for Allah. And there is another verse. Fifty thousand years of hours go to make a day. The day of judgment. But maybe the cosmic day, the universal day might be very long. You may call them the millenniums. But time is always involved. A seed to grow into a tree needs time. The human embryo to become a full human being needs time. So the well in the realm of command there is no time involvement. But in the realm of creation, the material creation, I may call it, time is always involved. Now let me give you a diagrammatic representation. This concept is based on an ayah of the Quran. It is chapter 40th and verse 11. I have written here in Arabic, قَالُوا رَبَّنَا أَمَتَّ نَسْدَتَيْنِ وَأَحْيَيْتَ نَسْدَتَيْنِ فَاعْتَرَفْنَا بِذُنُوبِنَا فَهَلْ إِرَى خُرُوجٍ مِنْ سَبِيلٍ the people who will be thrown in the hell after the day of judgment, they will pray to Allah. O oh, our Lord, you put us to death twice. And then you revived us twice. And now we have confessed our sins. So is there any way out from here also? Very important ayah of the Quran, very important. Although some similar concepts are given in other ayahs also, but this is the most important, central ayah regarding what I am going to say. Starting from this extreme left, creation ex nihilo. In the realm of command were the spirits of all human beings much before the creation of this universe, material universe, much before that. This material universe started from the Big Bang, I agree with it. But this period is pre-Big Bang. The command, the big command of God, Kun, it took the form of light. Subtle light, without any heat, without any motion. And from this light were created the angels and the human spirits, all human beings from the first Adam till the last son of Adam. These are wah. In Hadith we find the words Al Arwahu Junudum Bujandada. They were like armies, armies, all human beings. The spirits of all human beings were created at that time. And all the angels were created. Still, you know, the time and space complex had not split. Time was not there. You may call it absolute time. No serial time was present at that time. And there was no motion in that light, subtle light, no heat. And from this light were created, as I have told you, all the human spirits as well as all the angels. And this is, you know, the bold line. This was our first life, first life as spirits only, no bodies. But then, during this life, Allah took the covenant, the covenant, from those spirits of human beings. Allah to Kalu Bala. This is in Quran, chapter 7, and Ayah 171. Allah to Am I not your Lord? 
and all of us, all the spirits of all the human beings, from Adam till the last human being who will be there before the end of this world, they said in one voice, why not? You are our Lord. This was the first covenant taken from the spirits of human beings by their Lord and Creator Allah. But then they were put to a sleep. This was the first death. Put to sleep. We may say, put in some cold storage. <laughs> 